Hello and welcome to His Bubble, Austria Part 8. Last week we left Austria was devastated after the First World War, experiencing a severe economic downturn and turning more and more to nationalism and anti-Semitism. There was also three main groups vying for control of the country, the Socialists and Social Democrats, the Conservative Christian Socials and the Nationalists. By the end of the 1920s, the Christian Socials had a majority in the government and ruled with help from the Nationalists. But the nationalists got kicked out of the government and dispersed with most joining the upcoming fascists, which attempted a failed coup to overthrow the government. Meanwhile, the financial situation was getting worse with an unemployment rate of around 40% at one point. To try to help this, Austria took a loan from the League of Nations with requirements of abolishing all unification with Germany, including custom unions. But this only helped to divide the nation with many opposing this deal. To try to answer the threat of the Nazis, the ruling Christian social started to get more and more authoritarian, turning to Austro-Fascism. Austria became more corporatist with institutions formed to benefit those loyal to the government. Soon all elections were postponed when the Nazis were getting too big. And in response, the Germans imposed a travel tax to Austria. But even if the Austrian government stood up to the Germans, they focused mainly on the social democrats instead. The now basically fascist Christian social tried to Turn to the pre-1918 days of Austria, restoring some Habsburg rights and adopting their eagle into the flag. While well, the Friedrich was promised by law, youths were very discriminated, with them having a hard time getting jobs and were treated very poorly. The negligence of the Nazi threat led to the Christian social leader getting assassinated by them, which led to the new leader allying with the Italians to give them strength against the Nazi threat. Austria was still more and more falling into the Nazi yoke and the Italian also allied with the German, overriding their alliance with Austria. It was slowly starting to seem inevitable that Germany was going to take over Austria as the Western European power had stopped their interest in Austrian independence and working with the basement of the Nazis. Soon the Germany started up plans for Anschluss and an invasion plan was created. Austria soon also got an ultimatum from Germany so basically become their puppet and give back Nazis all the rights which were accepted, but the demand a few days later of unification of the countries was denied. The Christian Social Knight tried to rally all the non-Nazis in Austria to band together against the Germans and Nazis, but the Socialists decided to work against them on their own instead of joining with the Christian Socials. The Christian Social now decided to hold a referendum on independence which was shut down by the Nazis, who now started their invasion plan which became more of a victory parade as most of Austria's parliament resigned and little to no opposition was mounted. Almost the only violence enacted was the political oppositions of the Nazis within Austria, most of whom were either got arrested or murdered in so-called suicides. Many also saw the Anschluss as an opportunity to militate, rob and assault Jews, leading to much violence being enacted against the Jewish population of Austria. The time it took for Austria to be accepted as an official German region was well, next to none, and Austria thus ceased to exist as a nation to the shares of many in Austria, which was exacerbated by the financial aid received in tandem with the Anschluss. The Germans started many infrastructure projects and military factories in Austria, the latter for the distance from the front lines. The church also got more restricted after the reign of the Christian socials to their resentment of many of the nation. Many also turned their resentment for use to the North Germans, while Germany was now considered Austria and Austrians as fully part of the country. The chaotic oppression of use by ruining stores and robbing them also became more systematic with the government evicting them from the businesses and taking them over. Most also got forced to sell their home at extremely low prices, got fired from their jobs and were prohibited from attending most schools. This resulted in many use fleeing the country while others committed suicide. The night of the broken glass also affected Austria after 40 synagogues and prayer rooms being destroyed and almost 30 youths being killed to the joy of the German radio and by 1941 the Austrian youth were started to be deported to Poland concentration camps. After the large gains of the Germans in the Eastern Front, the deportation of youths with a full focus on extermination and of the 170,000 youths living in the Vienna before the Anschluss, only 5,000 remained with an estimated 65,000 dying in the Holocaust about only 2,000 survivors of the camps, with most of the others having escaped the nation. The Austrian part of the Holocaust was proportionally quite large, with them only controlling 10% of the 
empire's population, Austrian composed of almost 50% of the command structures of the concentration camps. Even though Austria supported the Germans, there were some who still resisted, with 2,700 being executed for these offenses and 30,000 non EU Austrians being sent to concentration camps where they died, and a further 20,000 being euthanized. The Austrians were conscripted for the war, just as the other year when being prevalent in Norway, Balkan and Russian campaign, losing around 250,000 to the war. It was also when the war started to turn in 1943, the Austrians sentiment slightly started to turn away from the Nazis and Austria started to be bombed, but the absolute majority remained supportive. At the end of the war, Austria was being invaded at first by the Soviets in the east, which are resistant and soon also the Americans in the north. And after the East was defeated, some parts of Western Austria rose up in a successful revolt, which happily met the American in Innsbruck. This was more of a case of supporting the American occupation over Soviets, with the Americans practically being able to walk across the nation with little to no resistance, while the Russians had to fight for every meter, since Germany was basically already lost. When the war was lost, Austria was divided as Germany had been into four zones with Americans, Soviets, British and French all receiving one, while also insisting that Austria had been a victim of Nazi aggression. But how this will be resolved and the rest of Austria's history will be explored next time. Hope to see you then.